Help your new dog settle in with a paternity leave. If you're thinking about adding a new four-legged friend to your family, you have some prep work ahead of you. But getting ready to bring home a new puppy or rescue dog is only half the equation. The real work begins the second you bring your new dog into your home. To ease the transition, some people take paid or unpaid time off work, giving rise to a new term paternity leave. Are you about to grow your fur family? Paternity time is the best way to ease the transition for you and your new puppy or rescue dog. Your new dog has just left a familiar environment with little explanation as to what's happening, aside from your reassuring words as you loaded him in the car. Now he has arrived at a totally different location with new sights, smells, and sounds. Dogs are also packed animals, and your new pup has been adopted into a new pack, which can be very stressful. So what will you do to make the most of your paternity leave? Take the time to build a solid relationship with your new puppy or rescue dog. Get things started on the right footer and paw with these top tips. Start slow. No doubt you're excited to go everywhere and do everything with your new sidekick, but take it easy on your pup the first few days. Plan to spend the first 24 to 48 hours around the house or in close proximity, so your dog can start to feel settled. It's also best not to overwhelm your dog with a parade of visitors. Instead, start slowly and gradually expanding your dog's world with new people and places. Get into a routine. Take advantage of your time at home to help your puppy or dog learn the routine around your house. Even though you may be taking a paternity leave, get up at your usual time and establish set feeding times. Dogs benefit from a routine and there's no better time to get started than the first day you bring your new pet home. Take your dog outside at regular times to show him when and where it's acceptable to use the bathroom. Accidents happen, though, so don't get frustrated if you must clean up messes on occasion. This can be easy to remember if you're house training a puppy who doesn't know better but may be more frustrating when adopting an adult dog from a shelter or rescue. Remember that stress can affect your dog's bathroom habits. Stay consistent and positive and your dog will soon learn what's expected of him. Have some fun. Spend some time having fun with your new dog or puppy with age-appropriate toys and playtime. It can be exciting to see which games your new dog enjoys most like fetch or hide and seek and which toys become fast favorites. Balance playtime with some quality rest and relaxation. Playing with your dog is a great way to help him release stress and anxiety while inviting him to relax with you on the couch will make him feel secure and loved. 2. Paws up for paternity leave Does paternity leave sound like a great idea to you? This special time to bond with your furry friend only comes around once. Make the most of it for a lifelong relationship of trust and love with your new furry companion. If you're fortunate enough to work for a pet-friendly company that offers paternity leave, then take advantage of it. Otherwise, consider using arranging to adopt your new dog over a long weekend or other holiday leave. 